Hey everyone, welcome to this hot stuff edition of the Electronic Cafe. This is an episode where Mark and I will be reviewing four of the albums we really think you should be getting your ears into to make them happy. Before I do that, a couple of big news items I want to share with you. Uh, we're hoping to make some very big Electronic Cafe announcements uh, very soon in terms of some gigs we've got planned and lined up and we're talking to certain artists. So look out for those announcements, hopefully in the next four to six weeks. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, and also we'll be uh, looking at a special night at uh, Beat the Clock Records down in Hove on November 27th where Mark and I will be hosting a Q&A with the fabulous Rusty Egan to talk about um, the Blitzed album, his career, and I think Rusty will be bringing copies of that album down and signing for the lucky customers at Stuart Overs' shop uh, at that in uh, down, say, down in Hove. So look out for that um, promo coming soon, uh, say November the 27th, Beat the Clock Records, an evening uh, hosted by the Electronic Cafe with with Rusty Egan. Um, also, just wanted to me and Mark want to offer our massive congratulations to Bridget Gray and Kurt Sinclair Hall in their new roles as the joint editors of our favourite magazine, the Fabulous Blitz Mag. Uh, big congratulations to two of our favourite people in our community. We know you're going to smash it. So best of luck, guys. Um, really awesome news to um, hear that and to say Mark and I just wish you the best of luck but as I said we know you're going to smash it. Hello everyone I'm Kurt and I'm Bridget and together we are the new editors of Blitzed magazine so we are taking charge of a fantastic team to bring you the best news and stories and photos and features and reviews from the best music around inspired by the Blitz Club and beyond and we can't wait yeah. See you out there. Right, let's look at some of the albums uh, that Mark and I want you to listen to. Okay, so the first album I want to bring to you lovely EC people's attentions is this. This is a band called Plastic Estate and their new album Code de Amour. Um, they're an awesome synth pop pack from Wales. Uh, brought to our attention by a fellow EC, uh, Russ Whitaker. I say loads of people are posting stuff on our Facebook channel now. So if you want to hear about new music, you're not a member of the EC community on Facebook, please join us. Um, it's amazing now because the same when Mark and I started that, we were sharing most of the music for people to find and listen. But now there's so many more people, like minded people, that join our amazing community. So, you know, Mark and I are finding new stuff as well. So it's absolutely amazing. So thanks to Russ. I heard this, checked it out and just thought, holy shit, this is so good. Uh, there's a big focus on atmosphere, refinement. Uh, I think the jury evoke a rich sort of real palette of romance um, and a rich, uh, and a luster with their, it's really polished sort of style of synth pop music. Um, they've garnered support from the likes of uh, Simon Le Bon and Duran Duran. They've been getting their pay on KEXP and BBC Radio. Um, and Stanley Four Acres and Nicholas James are the guys who are creating this great music. It feels a little bit, you know, when you hear something, you go, I really love this, but who do they sound like? And the penny drops after the second play. There's a bit of nation of language feel. So if you like those guys, you'll absolutely love this. And there's a couple of tracks with like, almost like a bit of a Roxy music uh, riff, but the, the earworms and the cool synth riffs throughout this album make for a fantastic ride. I thoroughly rec recommend these guys. Um, it's a great sound, it's a great album. Check it out. Uh, Russ, thanks for the heads up, mate. Um, it's brilliant. But yeah, uh, I say, Code the Immortal by the fabulous Plastic Estate. Check it out. first Hot Stuff album choice is the new public service broadcasting album, The Last Flight, the story of America's pioneering aviatrix Amelia Earhart and her final ill-fated flight in 1937. This is the fifth studio album by Public Service Broadcasting, and for those that don't know, Public Service Broadcasting write concept albums using samples from old public information films, archive footage and propaganda material based on historical subject matters, and they are given access to the archives of the British Film Institute and archive films or propaganda footage. 
Past records have focused on subjects like the conquering of Mount Everest, the World War II aeroplane, the Spitfire, the race for space, the British coal industry, Berlin, and their ode to the infamous White Star shipping line. Like, say, OMD, who can write great songs about something you can enjoy both musically on one level and learn something on another level, the same can be said of public service broadcasting. As far as I know, this year isn't commemorating any sort of anniversary, but this, The Last Flight, is the second album in the past couple of months to have come out dedicated to Amelia Earhart. While Laurie Anderson's outing is indeed fantastic, it is a completely different beast to the epic instrumental drive and euphoric bliss of The Last Flight by Public Service Broadcasting. This is a band in full flow, a great album worth checking out, and equally so, Public Service Broadcasting if you don't know them as a band. The Last Flight by Public Service Broadcasting. second album I want to talk about in this special hot stuff edition is this the fabulous dream state by Kelly Lee Owens it's a fourth album and the first on the new label um, DH2 there's a real um, feeling of freedom on this album like escapism throughout this album called dream state it's it, it sounds like Kelly's finally letting loose a bit more um, and letting go and she's almost like encouraging everyone else to do join the party do the same thing um there, there's some strong collaborations here like with producer writer credits from bicep tom rollins from the chemical brothers and george daniels so there's some amazing incremental added inputs of talent to add some extra energy to this album not that she needs it uh, but say not only is the support cast stellar but kelly's own talents don't go unnoticed on this album at all this is a woman at the height of her creative powers uh, the textures in this album are so sonically on point. Um, it's an absolute must listen. Nice work, Kelly. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, absolutely love this. We've been a fan of yours since day one, um, and this has just made us bigger fans. So if you haven't heard this fantastic album, Dream, uh, God, Dream State by Kelly Lee Owens, um, please go and do so. It's a fabulous piece of work. The second Hot Stuff album choice is both new and old. Liquid Gold by Shed7 is a loving tribute to their 30 year career as recording artists with this special album revisiting iconic tracks from their past, completely reimagined, rearranged and polished with the addition of a full orchestra giving a nostalgic yet fresh sonic experience. This isn't just some lazy cash grab of old songs with the strings lumped on top. The songs are brand new and have been polished and reimagined keyboards and strings pushed to the front and it is indeed rather good. This is a phenomenal album and it has given the band its second UK number one in a year which is something only 20 other artists have done before. Liquid Gold topping the charts means that Shed7 can join the select group of artists such as The Beatles, Elton John, Queen and Taylor Swift who have also had two number one albums in the same year. Shed7 were a great band back in the day with a huge catalogue of great songs. After four albums between 1994 and 2001, the band went on an extended sabbatical. In 2017, they returned with a brand new album called Instant Pleasures, and again in early 2024, they followed it up with A Matter of Time. It's funny how the music gods work, and sometimes you just seem to catch the zeitgeist. Go check out Liquid Gold by Shed7, a fabulous record.
So that's it for this fantastic Hot Stuff edition of the Electronic Cafe. Hope you enjoyed the recommendations, as always, that Mark and I put out just to try and make your ears happy. Um, there's so much good music. Again, 2024 has turned out to be an incredible year. So obviously, you know the headache's coming right for me and Mark to do the top 30 albums of this year. It's going to be really difficult because the bar is so high this year but that'll be coming towards you till the end of the year but there'll be other episodes in between that so look out for some more great content coming your way for music to make your ears happy only from the electronic cafe take care bye bye for now